The Abeyance Realm is going to be our home, and for that to happen, we have to find a base spot. So, might as well start there. Here. Return to Puck. Where the fuck is Puck? Oh, hi, Puck. Sup, my dude. Ah, we made it. With the byways left behind, your beginnings have ended. I bid you welcome to the Feywilds in earnest. This realm has long been forgotten by the Fey, left in limbo, not unlike you. How fitting. And thus, here is yours to put down roots. Mm -hmm. But beware. In short time, darkness will descend, and with it, Stygian oh, perils. Stygian. I love that word. Laying foundations will keep you intrepid, child of Earth. While you play carpenter, there are nooks in these surrounding wilds. I must scrub for the knowledge I pledged. All right, bye. Mushies. Hey, Sue, how you doing? Oh, I want to see what I actually um video what is third person cam like oh hell yeah don't mess with me oh hell yeah i think i actually like first person better okay Ooh, I see a wall. Or what was left of a wall. Thank you! I'm very excited to join Monarchy. Roasted meat. Everheart gear. It wants me to make an estate cairn, but I want to, like, find a good place for it first. This is cool. Elegant framed cot for short rest. Here we go. Ingot, a tin ingot. I don't trust that as far as I can throw it. Goodbye. Um. Anyways, I think that you should watch yourself. <laughs> oh, look it. We can. Oh, it's so hilly. I want somewhere flat. I've learned from Pal World I need to build somewhere flat. I'd say I also learned from Ark that I need to build somewhere flat, but it's a little easier to work with it in Ark, in my opinion. Ooh, what's this? What happens if I smash it? Literally nothing. Okay. Ooh, this might be a... Ooh, up there. Nice and flat. Nearby water. We're up on a hill for a nice vantage. I see that spot. We just got a chat full of heartthrobs today. I do. How to play. Wet. <laughs> Ooh, and look at all this fancy stuff around here. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is it. This is the home front. Ah, oh, yes. Perfect. I need so many more rocks. <laughs> Guess who hasn't been picking up rocks?
Your tenacity overrules the gusts of fate. And this fay you have pleased. Okay. Settled here, you'll soon wish to venture farther. The unending lure humankind so often succumbs to. Should you hear that siren call, you'll require unbraided cards and the power to play them. Fortunately, both are close at hand. And here is the knowledge that Robin's friendship affords. Across this realm lie sights of power sealed by your kin long ago. Forsworn by Fae, even longer still. There are many sights, each granting access to ever more distant spheres. Nearest, though, the Antiquarian. Formidable enough for one so green. You must first gain entry. Passing through a seal forged by those last children of Earth, who claimed reverence for our infinite wisdom. They, more than most, knew the gravity of a contract. Okay. Their gates bar access to those unworthy, but I see that strange hopeful spark within you. Nurture it with its own fundament, humanity. Be it comfort, companionship, coffer, I know not. Okay. Once within, delve ever deeper toward the pedestal. Upon it lies the means to craft the card you require. Hurry now, fleshling, and prepare. The infinite awaits. Bye. That was nice and all. Um. <clears throat> oh. I didn't have grown windows. Oh. Oh, well, now we got into the base building, everybody. It's over. It's fucking over. Oh. Don't worry, Chica. Oh, that built two of them. Oh, so if they're attached, it'll, like... Interesting. I like that. Okay, I need like a bunch more. Can I make a storage? A storage basket place. Oh, we'll have a little basket by the front door. It'll be cute. It'll be cute. Why do I have so many plant fiber? <sighs> Why? Why? Oh, there it goes. It was just freaking out. It's fine. I need wood bundles. Oh, dear God. Oh, I've been playing way too much Pal World. <laughs> Playing too much Pal World. Is this what's important? Absolutely. Nobody freaking say anything. This is the most important thing that needs to happen right now. Actually, what needs to happen is I need to go let that dog out. Um, that's what needs to happen. <sighs> I'm gonna need so much stone, oh my god. 
I'm dying. I'm panicking. The hail is killing me. No. No! How far you've come, and yet how little you possess. Is it an ascetic purity that keeps thee bound to such homely presentation? No. It seems more apt that thou merely remain blind to all that could be thine. Across these wilds, your kind have proliferated with haste, industrious and more than willing to avail amidst your ever-growing need. Indulge their hunger for essence, and they will indulge your want for new and novel constructions. Is that a weed? I'm gonna call 911. <laughs> hey, Mama Spoopy, how you feeling? Feeling better? I would like to not be wet anymore. A little. Just hurt me. No, my logs are rolling away. Okay, I get what I get what Kaya was saying earlier today about the grind. If you don't want to live in a shed, the grind is real. I understand now. Yunkus. Hey! Building traits. What are traits? Building traits modify the function of certain structures. The environment and nearby structure determine which traits the structure has. For example, a bedroll is more effective when it's in a warm, dry place. There are both positive and negative implications to traits. A few to look out are environmental traits like grit and exposed, which are applied based on the location of the structure is placed and increased crafting at times. Bench... Benches gain the grit trait if they are built on the bare ground. You can avoid this by placing benches on foundations or on an existing structure within the realms. Benches are exposed if they are built in areas where they are not sheltered. Realm walkers can also add positive traits such as light and warmth by building a campfire near benches or bedrolls. Some structures can have augmentations impact their effectiveness and create new traits. To use an augmentation, you have to build it near the structure you want to impact. There is a limit to the number of augmentations a structure can receive. Compatible augmentation combos that will create new traits are defined by in your guidebook. Ooh. Stop. Why are you doing this? Realm walkers can view active traits by interacting with a completed structure using the inspect, inspect interaction or in crafting stations crafting menus. Simple tanning. We're just gonna make my intro like super cozy and quaint. What if I, okay, well now that I have that, can I take this? Felt. Leather straps. I'm gonna work on leather. Cause 
I feel like that is going to be something we're definitely going to need. Simple rock marble. Out in the Feywilds, where precious gems are not always guaranteed, realm walkers must craft what few marbles they can from stone itself. Okay. I'm making marbles. I don't know why I need marbles, but you know what? It's fine. All right. Taking 33 back. That'll build about half of the house left. That's left. Apparently there are like essence trader. Eh. Oh. Uh. Right. Interesting. So I'm thinking it wants me to go to the essence trader. So, and I'm assuming that it, Puck came back and was like, you haven't made very much progress. Like that was scripted after you pick up so much essence from like collecting things. All right, my house isn't very like finished, but listen. Oh. An intermediate builder. Ah, oh, we have walls! We're gonna have ceilings soon. It's fine, people. Don't worry, everybody. I have more marbles. I'm gonna build this outside only because I don't want to put a campfire inside my house, you know? Because that just seems weird, personally. Just seems weird. I mean, I guess I can put it inside my house. Why not, right? We're so close to having almost a done building. I haven't even done the second floor. <laughs> Which I think I'm gonna do in wood. Ooh. Just gonna pretend that those aren't there and go back my way home. Look at my cute little house. I love the round windows. Everything is so as chick, deal with it. Everything is so aesthetically pleasing. Hey! I was curious if we were going to need um to have two open, but it looks like you can have just the one. Oh, falling through the floor. It's fine. We need six more fruit stone and we have finished house. Okay. We're so close. Well, we have a house that we can get shelter from the elements in, I should say. Sheltered, comfort, well-lit, warm. Okay. I need... That... Sticks, maybe? Hey, I'm gonna take a short rest because I am tired. And we are going to put some sticks in here. Ignite, close, and we're gonna make some mixed plants, 
Perhaps less fanciful than a cooked meal, this dish requires minimal effort but offers many health benefits. Okay. Raw mushroom and raw mushroom. Manage. Oh. Close. Craft. If I can eat it, then that's all I care about. Yeah, this is like super, super pretty. All right. We have food. Eight. Oh, that actually did work. Okay, can I set like a waypoint? Essence Trader. Okay. This will be fine. All right, is this the correct direction? Yes. Run as the crow flies. Whoa! No! 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 Oh my god. Well, picky meat. Thanks, my dude. You did it, not me. Bye! Okay, that was kind of bitchin'. This way. Aid fellow survivors, the company. Isabel, Essence Trader, Eugene. Oh, that's another player! Wilhelmina? Wilhel Wilhelmina, sassy. Ah, visitor! You're the one, fi the one fine soul we've happened upon in this realm, and your appearance is most welcome surprise. Who might you be? I am a refugee of the Calamity, new to the realms. I am not in the habit of divulging such information to a stranger. You're speaking with a realm walker extraordinaire. I'm a refugee. Quite refreshing to meet an open book, surely filled with tales worth telling. There are a great many new faces in the realms as of late, with a great many stories to tell. Collecting such stories is my trade, you see. Wilhelma Sasse, columnist for the Nightingale's finest paper, the Sunday Courier. Overjoyed to make your acquaintance. Now, if you're in need of more material services, nourishment, equipment, protection, I'm certain my companions here can provide. That's all for now. Thanks. Oh, she's like building here. Let's see. Simple items. Simple mall. Climbing picks. Hammer. Simple fishing rod. Simple umbrella. Realm cards. Estate address card. Play this card to go directly to a specific player's abeyance realm gift to other play gift to other players to allow them to visit your estate when you're offline oh interesting explorer card play this card to travel more quickly improving your resistance to most forms of damage while reducing the damage you can deal loved by affection whose name it bears this card grants the gift oh interesting i can buy candles oh i can buy oh i'm buying the cards High table lamp, high, high wall sconce, high chandelier, simple candle. Okay, well, unfortunately, I need to buy um, all of them. Thanks. Buildings, crude wood, advanced stone woods. Okay, listen. Um, Simple saw table, simple smelter, mortar station, spinning wheel, 
Oh my god, okay. Listen, I wasn't prepared for all of this. I... Out in the Feywilds with Precious Gem. I don't know what to do with this. Extract 80 Essence. Listen, I... They're easy and cheap to make. I want... Enchanter's Focus. Build an Enchanter's Focus to apply enchantments to equipment. Oh my god. Schematic, simple sewing bench. Buy refinement. Uh, smelter. Buy motor to find plant matter into more useful forms. Okay. Buy. I am, there's so much. Vilhelma could get it, yeah. Vilhelma could get it. Is there, like, a way to, like, get in here? Alrighty, let's see here. The Antiquarian, Sight of Power. First step of the Initiate. Induction into the Order of the Red Cross Knights. You stand now before the gateway to our first sacred site of power. He seemed to loom over us, despite his short stature. Armor gleaming in the fading sun, every bit of the picture of valor I had imagined a knight to be. To cross this threshold is to be deemed worthy of our ranks. None who lack the courage, the strength, the heart, will pass the bounds of our ancient magic. Falter here and be forever barred. My hands shook, my breath caught. To be turned away at the precipice after a lifetime of longing. If your intentions are true, young squires, have not but surety that you will meet me on the other side as equals. With stately grace, he turned from us and dispersed the glimmering magic of the gate. In moments, it held firm anew, and we approached. I can't go through until I have, uh, 20... Uh, armor stuff, so I'm not too worried about that. What? What do you want? Hoping to make a trade, or are you just here to talk? Um, you mentioned protection. I did. My esteemed colleague here is always looking for work, but I'm sure you're about, they're about somewhere. They're a quiet sort, but I'm sure you'll find them to be a capable combatant builder rust about whatever you might require. And I imagine they'll be quite willing to accompany you once their work here is finished. That seems quite reasonable. Should I be concerned with their work? I like that answer. Survivors. Finding survivors. Realm walkers can find other survivors to help them in their search for Nightingale. By completing tasks for them, you will be able to recruit them to your party. Oh, interesting. Recruited survivors can help you harvest resources, build structures, carry things, and fight off enemies. Oh. Realm walkers may also elect to equip survivors with better equipment to better brave the dangers of the realms. You may enable the use of storage containers for survivors by changing the permission in each container. Call it a trick of trade, but I've often found that ever more in place like this, favors can carry more weight than coin. Of course, if no one here is to your liking, there are plenty of capable wanderers in the realms left mum, left mum chance by travity tragedy and more than willing to offer their arm in exchange for realm walkers aid and having seen much of the wider realms i'm sure there are each more fine tales we could pry out once you bring them back here and any any new traffic no matter how meek good for business after all interesting do these merchants work for the sunday courtier as well courier excuse me oh heavens no these fine true pennies are employees of the northern Transept Trading Company, financiers of our paper and realms, wide peddlers of all desirable goods. Nasty bit of business brought with two here, brought these two here. Before the calamity, they manned a logging outpost that were cut off from all supply by portal networks collapse. Rumor has it the company men who remain resorted to most heinous acts in the name of survival. Oh, hi, you spooked me. That's very interesting. Hmm. Alright, bitches. Let's go. Wanna fight? Let's fucking fight. I've got no stamina and I'm cold. Woo! 
Ooh, you got a fucking tower on your head. Ow. Was not paying attention to my health. to back down. Never surrender. I'm the greatest. Get in the fucking ground, as Jack Sector, I would say. Alright, um, time to go home because that was some nasty business. Home is this way. The building aesthetics in this game and just the general aesthetics of this game is everything that I wanted it to be. And I love that they committed to it. 